you remember, I set up a goal for myself to finish pretty much all of my blanket works in progress in 2023. But I do it step by step. I work on one specific blanket every day for 30 minutes while I listen to the Bible. So if I do that and keep that going, I finish the first blanket, then I go on with the next blankets and I will read through the Bible within a year. So how was week two going? Today is day two of the second week of my daily dedication. So the start of this day or of this week wasn't the best for Benny because um, I won't go into the details, but he has something and that causes him pain and I have to watch him and I have to cool him with a cool pack. Um, now I know it's not so dangerous um, if it gets treated, but yeah, we have to see the vet today. And since yesterday in the evening, I am caring for him, cooling the part of the body that is hurting him and preventing him from uh, licking what animals do when they are in pain. So I decided to sleep uh, the, the last night in the living room on the sofa uh, so I could watch Benny more easily and when I heard him licking I awoke and um, yeah cared for him cooled the part again yeah so my sleep was interrupted quite often but that's okay that's no problem um, now he is feeling a little bit better I think but he seems to me very exhausted so why do I talk about this? Here it's about the crocheting this blanket you see here. Um, I didn't do my daily dedication yet for today. It's 10 to 9 in the morning. And I think he is sleepy enough so I can start the row I was meant to crochet yesterday. But as I told you in the last weekly update, I crocheted the complete row so I completed the last row, realized it was on the wrong side and unraveled everything. So I did my daily dedication yesterday, but effectively had no finished row. So the last week was quite tough, to be honest, and I already failed. And I like to keep it very realistic here because we we'll all make resolutions or many of us and some people are criticizing resolutions lately. It's a new trend, I think. It's like, oh, only hibernate, don't work on yourself and so on. And I think res resolutions are a great thing to do, uh, but they have to be realistic. So now here is how my week went with my resolution. From Mon So this is the second week. From Monday to Saturday, it was very difficult to keep up my 30 minutes of crocheting and listening to the Bible, but I did it. What was so difficult? My tiny little dog, Benny, had a bad uh, wound and it got infected and I had to take care for him. We visited the vet daily for his treatment because that was nothing I could do at home, unfortunately. And I had to watch him constantly so he doesn't lick his wound, so it, that, um, the infection wouldn't get worse and I had to cool his wound and to be able to cool a dog's wound <laughs> you, you know he has to let you do this and I had to have him on my lap pet him until he was tired and then he eventually uh, let me touching his wound with a cool pack so you can imagine <laughs> that was quite a full-time job yeah, and I had to work and I had to do other stuff and household chores and so on. So my mornings didn't start as usual with my first cup of coffee turning on the Bible and crocheting. So I had to squeeze in my crochet sessions and the Bible ses sessions within the day. And that is always difficult for me. And until Saturday... I was able to manage it. Today is 13 of my daily dedication project and day six of the second week. 
Today I was finally able again to do my daily dedication in the very early morning. Well, very early. It was Saturday, so it was half past six. That's not really early in the morning for me. But anyways, um, because of Benny's wound he had and our daily vet visits, so I had to find workarounds to still do my daily dedication. And the early mornings weren't possible. So I sat, said in the beginning of this week, oh, let's see, maybe I can put my daily dedication later into the day and let's see how it works. But now I was forced to do so and it it's more difficult for me to do so, but it worked. I didn't skip one day. Um, once Tommy listened to me together, uh, listened with me together to the chapter or the chapters of the Bible I had to read or had to listen and I was crocheting and there wasn't so much crocheting as last week that's that is something I can say already because I had to interrupt quite often for care so I could care for Benny yeah but today I was it was uh, nice that's funny I'm looking out of the window and Tommy is doing the Gassi round, as we say in German, <laughs> Gassi Runde, with Benny, and I see them. <laughs> and I'm so glad he, so Benny is feeling better already. I'm so relieved, I can tell you. We've been to the vet Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, Freitag, five, uh, four times daily, and yeah, he's on antibiotics now, and all the jazz. And now he is he has so short legs, so sh he has to make so many steps. <laughs> it's always so cute. Okay, what was I going to say? I'm very sorry. So Benny is feeling better. And today, so this morning, um, I could do what I usually do every morning. Make a cup of coffee, sit down, crochet and listen to the Bible. And I'm still in the book of Exodus. And I'm past the description of the, mm, I say holy tent now, when I find the real theological word in English, you will read it on the screen. So that is not so interesting. But what I take away from that, I always try to think, okay, there must be a reason why this text is in our scripture, in our Bible. So there is something, there is something from value or of value i'm sorry for us today so and i thought okay what 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 is my takeaway my takeaway is it does matter how our, how our churches are looking god had specific ideas for his house he told us exactly which tapestry and which materials and how long, how big, how tall, all the, thing, all the things. Um, and the people gave away their jewelry to make it possible. Maybe jewelry they inherited from generation to generation because they were slaves. There is no other way that I could explain that slaves have so many expensive things. Because they melted it already for the golden calf. Is it a calf in English as well? Um, so I think these cheap looking modern churches aren't biblical. We, only, we should only use the most precious and the prettiest things for the church itself, for the vestment of the priest and everything around liturgy. So that is my takeaway. I mean, I had this opinion before, <laughs> so it wasn't difficult to find that. But when while I was listening to the detailed desc um, description of the holy tent, I thought, okay, why it's why, wouldn't it be enough to say like in three sentences, please make a very pretty tent. <laughs> No, no, I'm sh I'm sure there is much more to it, but that's my takeaway for me personally, and maybe that's maybe that's even right. I don't know. Okay, God first, 
and the most precious and prettiest materials for his house. Yeah, that's what my takeaway. My takeaway for the sixth, sixth day of the second week. And today, again, it was a little struggle to, to make the time. Because I was used to not doing this in the morning. So I, um, for example, while I cooled Benny's wound, I had him on my lap and I uh, cuddled him and so on to calm him. So he lets me <laughs> get uh, to his wound. I usually, and it took long. So sometimes he slept on my lap for one and a half hours and I couldn't do much in during that time. So I was watching something on YouTube, for example. And so I was used to do that again. Uh, and so I started watching Brad Cooper. And after two or three videos, I stopped and said, no, 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 no. You have to listen to your Bible first. And while I do that, I have to crochet because if I start now to um, to do these things separately, it will be a hot mess. I, I know that already. I need a connected habit that works better. Um, so I, I stopped Brett Cooper. <laughs> I will watch on later. Did my daily dedication, prepared, bre prepared breakfast, prepared our dinner for tonight. We will have I don't know if it is a German dish. I call it a German dish because it is something very typical for a true German word of the day, Imbissbude. I'm sure there isn't a good word for that in English because the German Imbissbude is an institution. <laughs> you usually get, yeah, nowadays you get burgers too, but usually you get all the German typical sausages and French fries. And where I come from, here are no Imbissbuden. I haven't seen one in Thuringia. You, yeah, you have these sausage, sausages stands, <laughs> but that's not the same. That's not the same. You only get these sausages and that's it. But the um, where I come from, and the city where I come from, there is a there is the best Imbissbude ever, <laughs> and they offer shashlik. So because of the way it's written, I'm sure it comes from another country and not Germany, but it's something, yeah, you get everywhere on these Imbissbuden. And that is something I do today. <laughs> so maybe I find a picture of shashlik, how it looks. It's very tasty. And that I prepared. And then we had breakfast and now I will go on, I can't decide, knitting or crocheting on either of my blankets. That's my today's plan. And that was good because if I didn't do this, so if I had, if I hadn't listened, <laughs> I hope that is right, to the Bible this morning, I would procrastinate through the whole day and wait until the evening because I had all these things to do, you know, in my other routines. So, long story short, daily dedication is done. 13 days in a row. I'm very happy about it. And now I can do all the other things. And that's my report for the day. <laughs> and on Sunday, my migraine hit me so badly that I wasn't able to do anything like that. So I had migraine the whole week and I am used to it already. I think other people would be shocked. <laughs> but if people, are more, I know many of you uh, suffer from migraine as well. And I think you can agree that you get used to the horrific pain you have but on sunday forget it so i didn't do my daily dedication on sunday but i listened to today is monday and i listened to the part of the bible i missed already today but i didn't catch up the crochet part not too bad to be honest because i'm on track you know i have to crochet 120 rows to finish this blanket then I have to do the border and I have crocheted wait 16 and a half rows since January 1st so that's amazing I think it's great now what did I do last week uh, I can show you six and a half rows that's not as much as last time last week I did um, 12 rows but two of the rows weren't 
so I don't count the two rows. I, ex I explained it uh, in the last video. So here is <laughs> the little bit I did. Here is my progress keeper. It's a tiny Westie I received from Julie. It's amazing. It's so cute. And I want you to see it. <laughs> okay, so this white round uh, row, then this star is made out of two rows. White, turquoise, mm, I don't know, light brown or what is it? And beige. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but this, oh, yeah, six and a half, because um, this is the seventh, seventh row I have not completed. This is what I did. So, and here is the rest. So it's not even the half of the row. That's that. Um, Bible reading, I finished uh, the book Exodus and started Leviticus. You know, <laughs> if you read these books already before, I did. And yeah, all these detailed descriptions of how the tent is decorated. So the holy tent. I, I still don't know what the word is in English. Um, and now it's Leviticus. So all the rules and laws and oh, that will be a little bit dry, but I can go through it. I know I can because after that there will be many amazing stories and thrilling characters again. Um, well, there is still Moses and he's awesome. So that is that. Um, yeah, the part of the Bible I was listening to the last week wasn't so interesting, but I know, I know it will be interesting again. Um, so this second week had many struggles. I failed one time, but you know, if you are sick and migraine is horrible, it's like being sick. Um, I think that is a good excuse. And that is um, how I like to make resolutions. These kind of resolutions that go for perfection. So like, I will never fail because if I, I can throw everything into the bin and I won't, I won't go on with my goal I wanted to achieve. That's nonsense. You have to expect that you will be sick or have no time or that other things in life are more important. Sometimes your friends and family need you and your time or you, you know, there are these days. It's no problem. As long as I keep going, start over again and see I'm making progress, I'm content. I'm pretty content. And that means we go into the third week now. I have to, because today is Monday, I like to do the wrap ups on Monday and I haven't done my daily dedication yet. Just because my migraine is still up. <laughs> I'm having this since five, six days in a row, in a row. That means I fall asleep with migraine. I wake up with migraine. And if I'm lucky, I have like an hour a day without pain or without, I always call it active pain because if the migraine stops, it's not like you don't have pain anymore. It's your whole brain feels sore. It's yeah, like sore muscles. Yeah, it's it's not the best condition uh, for things like that. But you know, life is hard. No one promised it to be easy and we have to struggle through that together. So I'm curious, how was your second week of daily dedication? What did you do? Had you Have you had your first fails already why how do you feel now will you go on or are you discouraged already please don't let some days of not doing the daily dedication for whatever reason discourage you the most important thing is just go on you know don't don't say oh no now it's useless to go on because I skipped one day and because that is the perfection that no one needs. We all will fall and we have to stand up again. That is most important in my opinion. And now I will I will work because here's uh, maybe I can show you a lot of yarn. <laughs> yeah. Open minis. <laughs> 
and I have to prepare some kits and other kits for a new pattern I wrote. That means now is working time and in the afternoon after I, I've been to the vet, hopefully the last time <laughs> for this year, hopefully. Um, then I have a Skype call and then in my free time, I hope I can do my daily dedication. No, I hope. No, not I hope. I am going to do my daily dedication. See you all next week. <laughs>